got Rasul in the depth chart, Rasul on one side, Antonio on the other side. What did, what did they do to kind of set themselves apart uh, from the other uh, guys? Or just... I, th I think that they just uh, continue to get better on a day in, day out basis. I think all of the guys did a good job in getting better uh, on a day in, day out basis. So I think um, it should be pretty good. It should be a pretty good season. Coach Overson the other day, I think it was last week, talked about how um, it would probably be an ongoing battle all year with those cornerbacks, with who's going to start, who's going to do this, who's going to do that. But he said that was a good thing. That was, the competition was always going to be breathing. There was a lot of depth there. You kind of feel the same way there? I feel the same way. Uh, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, whoever goes out there, they'll be the guy. But as long as they're out there. Give me something you liked about Antonio, this particular play. Uh, Antonio, is, he has a unique skill set from the standpoint of he can do a lot of great movement things. Uh, I like his, his hunger for the game. He has a good football IQ. And his drive. He wants to get better day in, day out base. Does it help that he's seen some of the elite level competition, kind of like a Nana? I don't know if it helps because every year is a different year. You get new talent. So. Um, I don't know that it hurts either. Coach Carrier said the one thing he thought his guys lacked right now they wouldn't get until they got into the game was, was confidence. They just needed that, to key in on that. Do you, guys, do you feel the same way about your guys, or do you feel like you're carrying that confidence into the first game? I think we're pretty confident. I think we're pretty – I mean, we worked our tails off. We should be have some level of confidence uh, based on the work that we put in. Uh, saying that, you still get – more confidence as the season goes on and how you play.